Hi guys, it's Roseanne White here, and I'm going to be taking you through the Squat Wedge Pro Power Flow Plus Dumbbell Workout today. So welcome. I'm going to shut my door. It's a um, gloomy day here in Scottsdale, Arizona. We've got rain, which is so interesting for March, but, um, you know, it'll bring more of our desert flowers. So I just want to welcome you all, and um, I'd love to hear where you're coming from, and if you actually have the Wedge squat wedge pros or the the power flow dumbbells or what products you have from life pro that you are using um i wanted to also kind of give a shout out to the two new products that we just launched recently the uh bio recovery light therapy knee brace amber launched that uh last week or the week ago and the, also the access pro uh air conversion massagers these are two great tools that are good for your recovery after this kind of workout. So if you hadn't had the chance, jump on the website, check them out. I'll be putting some links for the, the Squat Witch Pro and the Power Flow Plus uh, products in the chat um, in case you don't have them. And uh, you can just check out these new products. They, they are just great companions to have for your workout. So I'm going to move these aside. And while everyone's settling in, I'm going to get this out of my way. Um, you're not going to need a lot of extra product props today. You'll need a water bottle. You'll need, of course, your dumbbells. And I'm going to be using the mini, mini stability ball, which also is known as the squishy ball. And um, the wedge comes with the resistance band. You'll be needing that. I'm going to only use it for one of the exercises today. I really want to focus more on the dumbbells. And just a little bit about what's gonna go on. I'm gonna first uh, give you a little bit of a warm up. Then we're gonna go into exercises. I have nine of them. And I'll take them slow. We'll go eight to 10, 12 reps. This is a workout, so I'm gonna be working through it. But also, if you know me by now, I like to give some good instruction on form, quality movement. So forget quantity, it's quality movement. Um, that's super important. And like everything you, Start where you are at. So if you're new to squats, this is a perfect product for you. And if you've been squatting for a long time, even better because it'll improve your form. So um, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, if you don't have the power flow dumbbells yet, other dumbbells will be fine, but these are so easy to adjust. And I'll be going through between 5, 10, and 15 pounds for the workout. So ready to dive in with me? I'm going to just adjust my screen a little bit to see if uh, I've got anyone online. Nope. I'm going to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Let me know where you're, you're queuing in from and um, if you're going to be working out with me today or if you're just going to watch and do it later. This will be recorded, so you'll be able to find it on the VIP page and also on YouTube. Uh, and if you're new to Squat Ridge Pros, here's the deal. These guys are not very expensive, and but they are well made. They are five inches wide, 11 inches deep, and about 3.9 inches high. They're, the weight capacity is 600 pounds per unit, so 1,200 pounds. So that's a lot of weight. So what I'm going to do is start with some warm-up. My screen kind of fuzzes in and out. You're just going to see that I have autofocus with my webcam, so it just happens if I move too fast. So you're not going to need a lot right now. What I want to do is first stretch your ankles and your toes and kind of get the warm up. We won't need weights yet. So I'm going to start with the wedges on the incline up so I can put my heels down. And I want to be in parallel. And your knees are going to be bent here. You can put your hands on your hips. And again, think about parallel. I would prefer, if you have the stability ball, to put this between your thighs so you get what I call the inner thigh connection and more pelvic floor. Hands on the hips, and we're going to lift and lower. Exhale and inhale. You don't have to go fast. Think about rolling up and down. You're going to add some arm movement to here. You can reach up and down. It doesn't have to be big. Just get some blood flow. And you're going to start feeling... The big toe mound, the second toe. Those are pretty important here. I work with a lot of active aging adults, probably like you, and I see a lot of people rolling up to the outside of their feet. So this squishy ball, as Amber calls it, um, a mini stability ball is perfect to get you to get that inner 
thigh bone connection and big toe connection. So that's about it for these. We're gonna just change things a little bit. I'm gonna go into a V position. So in Pilates, we call it the Pilates V. We're gonna separate a bit. Heels are together, squeezing in her thighs, and we'll lift and lower. And again, this is not big. It's more about getting the feel of my toes. They're my antennas. They're your antennas for all our moves as we walk the earth. And you're breathing with this. Let's go for five. Squeeze and lift for four. Ears over the shoulders, three. And up you go, two. Glutes help you, help you lift, one. Now the next one is going to be more knock kneed and I just change the angle. I'm going to also put the link in here for you guys on, uh, oops, I want to do this. I want, <laughs> there we go. I want toes up. So I'm knock kneed and I'm pushing out. So I just want to start that. Then I'm going to add the lift. And I'm lifting and I'm pushing out. So I'm on my big toes, thigh bones are turned in. So I'm in internal rotation in the hip sockets. There's a kind of a soft bend in me. I don't hyperextend because I can, so I don't want you to. If this is too much, you can always bring your toes down a little bit. But I want you to get as much stretch in your Achilles as you can. And lift. Make the abs, do the work too, feel the ribs lifting for three and two and one. Now that's just a little bit of ankle stretching. Now we're gonna change it. Now my toes are pointing down. What the squat wedge pro is used for or designed for. And I'm gonna show a side angle here. Again, my squishy ball. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in side. And my spine is long. I'm just gonna bend and straight. I'm not going into the big stretch. I want to feel that I'm dropping down. If I were against this wall, my head shoulders are sliding down. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Eventually I'm going to the incline, but I just want all my muscles inside, outside, front and back to work. And you could add some arm movements here, up and down. I don't want to go too fast because you see how my focus, my camera focus is weird. Couple more. This is in my parallel. And then I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go into my Pilates V. Now, my toes are pointing down. I'm gonna hold my stability ball. Squeezing thighs, I'm gonna bend and straighten. This is not a sumo squat. It is not a goblet squat. We're gonna call this almost like a plie squat. And I'm just pressing into the ball, keeping the chest lifted up into the ball. And I take an inhale and exhale. I can go a little deeper now because I'm warmed up. Feel the butt cheeks contracting and releasing. Keeping my chest all the way up into the ball. Three. Big breath in and out. Two. I'm going to start my heart rate monitor. I always forget to do that. But I'm always curious to see how many calories I burn in this workout. Not that it's Meant for calories, but you know, I always like to look at numbers. I'm a number, I'm a numbers person. <laughs> One more time. Great. Now, last thing we're gonna do is that knock knee move, and our warm-up will be complete. So in this one, it might be a little awkward for you. Here's my knees are bent, chest is up, down, and press out. Feel the thigh bones turning in and pushing the quads, the muscles are pushing back into the bones. You can add a little arm movement here, up, tap and lift, elbows bent, open up the chest, squeeze in through the glutes, press into the big toes, that's key. Just these moves are starting to get my heart rate up, getting warm already. One more time. Great, so that was just a little warm up to get things going. Shake your legs out, grab some water. So, nine exercises. We're gonna do a set of squats with uh, our dumbbells. We're gonna do a set of deadlifts. We're gonna do some abduction with the band, some hip thrusts. Then I'm gonna challenge you with some single leg work and lunges. So again, I'm gonna go on an angle here. 
so you can see more of my posture. And my, 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 I don't want to be too wide in this. I'm just about a little bit, there's my hip joints. I'm going a little bit wider, about as wide as my hips. And my weights are going to be, oh, I'm going for 10 pounds each. Let's see, do I want to put the ball here? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it really complicated. Again, you don't have to, but I'm gonna make it a little complicated. I'm gonna stand down here. I want to make sure I can get the ball in between my thighs. So I'm going to move my, my wedge in just a little closer. These are much more parallel than maybe you're used to. I'm going to come on down. Okay, a little tricky for that. Okay, so here we go. Nice and lifted here. I'm going to bring the weights on my chest. I'm going to squat down and press up. Okay, I'm going to come down and press up. It's a hammer curl. So I'm going to keep my chest rather lifted in this first set. Down and up. I'm pressing through my heels. My butt is back. If you just want to add just the bicep curl, that's fine. If you just like the press up, you can go a little deeper in your squat. That's your option. You can add both. Big muscle movements, big cardio moves. Four, three, again, you could add that bicep hammer curl. Two, one, Whew. and bring it down. Get rid of the ball. Whew. And hurry. Pump there. Shake your legs out, give yourself about 30 seconds to let the heart rate come down and we'll prepare for our next set. So again, I like the ball. It's going to be a lot more work for pelvic floor, inner thighs. Now the deadlift will be a narrow row. So it looks down, I pull and back, okay? And for this one, I can do squishy ball again. 15 pounds, the back, the lats, and the arms can take it. Back needs to be super strong and flat in this one. If you find 15 is not too much for you, you've got options. Okay, so step on, get that ball between the thighs, grab your weights, and here we go. We're nice and tall to start. That's the start, that's the finish. I'm gonna hinge from my hips, I'm gonna pull, and then I lift. So I take a, a, a deadlift, I pull, and I lift up. Pull the belly in. A lot of back muscles on this. Great back strengthening. Hinge. I always think of deadlifts like looking over the Grand Canyon. Your head's going over your toes. And you come up. Very soft bend in the knees. I'm squeezing that ball. And up. If you don't like the row, and you just want the hinge, these are called good mornings when you don't add the row. I'm not sure why. But a lot of booty in this, guys. Keep the chin pulled in, bend. And I don't let the weights go much further below the knee, right there. Pull, and then lift. Let's do a few more. Pulling the hips, creases back. Back strong and long. And the glutes fire up. One more, please. Take a hinge, pull and up and release Good. drop the ball and shake it out so swing your arms a little bit a lot of a lot of back work there shake the legs out like i said about 15 or 30 seconds let it go grab some water let the heart rate come down i'm right now believe it or not at about 1 30 and that's my good aerobic area. 
aerobic zone, more fat burning zone. I'm not taking calories from my muscle, more fat burning. Okay, so we're gonna set the wedges to the side for a moment. We'll set the ball to the side and we're gonna grab the resistance band that comes with these. Okay, and I'm gonna step, gosh, about hip distance. Now, you can always add a weight to this. You can always add a weight to pull up, but I'm just gonna let my hands, and I'm gonna show you as I wobble forward. I'm gonna watch my wrist. I'm not bending my wrist. I'm gonna keep my wrist nice and strong, okay? So the top of the shoulders are working. This walk alone that I'm doing is called the monster walk, okay? You can play around with this. But what I wanna do is actually an abduction. So we're gonna pull and pull. It's my elbows, the upper arms lift, not my hands. The hands are holding the band. Pushing through the heel. Now notice, my toes are not pointing out. They're pointing right toward you. And this is great for the glute medius, the side of the hip. And it becomes again a little aerobic. You can go slow with these. You can add just one leg and stick to one leg or alternate like I'm doing for five, four, three, two, and one, done. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, shake those babies out. You can swing your legs a little bit. Let those hips release. Get the heart rate down. Yeah, 145. Grab some water. I just ran little sips of water through this. I have a chair handy, by the way. You might need it. So that's a two-foot stool. Okay, so that was abduction, side leg lifts with the resistance bands. So, um, yeah, bands are no joke. <laughs> I love those for outer thigh work. That is just legless. Keeps you really honest. Okay, so um, we're gonna go down to a sumo squat. All right, take that. We're gonna do hip thrust first. So I'm gonna use the wedges, and I'm gonna go for 15 pounds, okay? Five, 10, 15, again, where you're at. Um, I've been upping my game a little bit with weights. I just finished healing yet another injury. Um, so I'm feeling a more confident with my weights. Now you all know this exercise, although I shouldn't assume, but it's, we can think about the bridges, okay? But what I like to do with these, I'm gonna challenge your core muscles a lot more. Okay, so the wedges, Incline pointing down, pointing to you, okay? To the toes, the, oh, no, I'm it back. Yeah, uh, I gotta think how I'm gonna do this. Yep, sorry, toes pointing down. Toes pointing down. Okay, parallel, squishy ball if you want, but I wanna play around. So if you're not gonna lift your legs, don't use a squishy ball, okay? You're gonna grab your weights. Actually, we're gonna grab one weight, one weight, okay? Keep the other weight handy, we'll do two sets. So, what I wanna do is lift my hips and lower. Get used to that. If your hamstrings are cramming up, you're not using your glutes. So you gotta curl up, it's a thrust, okay? Now, I'm gonna just thrust up and down a few times. My arm is at my side, I'm gonna bring my elbow up. So if you think chest press, right, okay? So we're gonna lift and lower just to get those glutes activated. Five, four, I'm really digging in my heels. Three, two, and I'm gonna hold up. Now just this arm is gonna come up and down and I'm gonna feel how much work that hip, that glute's doing. Now to challenge myself, I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna press that leg actually out, push out, and in. A lot of core here, guys. You don't have to add the leg lift. You don't have to add the leg stretch, but you do have to do the single arm. Let's go five. 
Core is working, four, glutes burning. Three, two, one, and bring it down. Quick little stretch on that glute, just a figure four, lift up, just a quick stretch, okay? Second set is the other arm. So you can grab, I'll grab the weight that's over here, because I'm gonna do one more set with both arms, okay? So eight to 10 reps, okay? Let's go ahead and drive it up, okay? We're gonna drive up. Now we know we're already warmed up, okay? So we're gonna start adding the arm out to the side. So both arms would be doing this, okay? But you can keep your free arm still and just let the weight arm do the work. Keep the hips lifted. And now I'm gonna shoot that leg out and bring it in. Exhale and inhale. Okay. You're pushing from under the armpits, keeping the hip lifted as high as you can. Let's go five and four. My elbow's just barely touching the floor. Three. Every time I push, I lift my hips. Two and one. And come on down. A quick little stretch on that side. Just get a little stretch. Okay. So final set. Okay. Just going to nail knock these out. Instead of a chest press, I'm going to do a tricep press up. Okay. So careful when you bring your weights on. They're right at your sides. Okay. We're going to thrust the hips and push up and down. And press. That's it. Drive it up. I'm going to scoot my butt a little closer to the wedge so I can get more lift. I want to do five more of these and I'm going to add a grand finale. Shoulders stay flat. Hold it up. Hold it up. One leg up. Place it down on the wedge, other leg up. And lift. Pushing down on the foot to lift the other leg up. Strong in my arms. I'm almost like doing a reverse plank. Driving the hips up. Four. Find your heel on that wedge. Three. Last two, wrists are straight. Oh, I'm, I'm quivering a little bit. <laughs> One more. And come on down. Wow. Okay, so just shake things out. Just open and close your arms. Big chest stretch. Good, guys, this is very aerobic, okay? So if you're not, I'm not big into running. When you use these big muscle groups, your heart rate's really gonna come up. Okay, that was exercise four. I did three parts, single arm and then both. We're gonna go into a sumo squat with an upright row. This time we will add weight. Some of you know this as a goblet squat, okay? So I only am going to use one weight. I think I'll keep it at the 15, probably could go 20, but I think 15 will be fine. So what I want to do, my toes are going to be out. And let me go from a side angle again, because I want you to see that when I'm doing this particular squat, okay, I'm going to hinge, okay, and then I come up. So my back is flat. It's a hip hinge, and I'm working a lot of inner thigh on that. Make sense? Okay. A lot of people do this with kettlebells. You can hold the weight like this. You can hold it like that. Remember, we're coming up not with our hands, but our arms. Okay? Where it works, actually, I'm hold the, the weights, the, the discs themselves. Okay, nice and tall to start. Take an inhale breath, tap, and up. Exhale. Hinge back and up. Oh, I'm glad you're liking this exercise, this routine. I don't want to complicate things too much. I was telling a client today, when I start adding pieces, parts, it's, it's coordination. That's what makes these things advance, right? 
we had pieces parts to them. So you can just do a basic gobble squat and come up, that's fine. But if I add a little upright row at the top, it gives me an extra dimension. <sighs> nice and strong. Big breath in, use those abs, use those glutes. <sighs> Two more guys. <sighs> See how high my elbows are compared to my hands? That's the work, shoulders are down. Okay, that's enough of that. <sighs> okay. Heart rate's up again. So now, the next three exercises are gonna be more challenging for your balance. So I want you to have a chair handy or the wall, if you need it. But we've gotta work on balance all the time. So start, again, where you're at and work it up. I'm gonna do a single, day, single leg deadlift. And then I'm also gonna do a single leg squat, okay? So the single leg deadlift without weight, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Toes up, okay, I'm, I'm uh, heel down, toes up, and then I'm gonna straighten my leg. And you can have your chair here just to get this feel. So that's what I'm looking for, okay? Leg extension deadlift, okay? So the deadlift is this single leg, right? That's the deadlift. That's the first part, deadlift. Then the hip extension, I find my balance, and there's my hip extension. Then the other part of that is gonna be a single leg squat. It's gonna be the opposite leg, because this one's fried. I'm gonna take my chair, and I go, I'm just demoing these, and we're gonna do the work. But I wanna break them down for you, okay? So now, toes pointing down, okay? I'm gonna be light on my right foot. Left foot's gonna come up, I'm gonna come up and down. So I'm just gonna kinda just use this leg, then eventually I'm not gonna touch it all. Whoops! So I told you, this is challenging, okay? So I'm gonna squat back and lift. Put your hand on your thigh if your knee is wobbly like mine is and lift, okay? So it's three exercises. Let's add weight to it. <sighs> Single leg deadlift. I'm gonna go 10 pounds, just because it's coordination, okay? So, the deadlift, foot forward, and I'm hinging from the hips, okay? So I'm gonna lift my leg up, and I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna hinge down, whoop, there's my chair there, and I up, I'm up. So I'm just keeping my arm down to the side, I'm hinging, and I'm up, okay? Makes sense, I'm making sense to you. I hinge from the hips, I bring the opposite weight down toward the knee, and then I fire up that leg to lift, and I find my balance. I'm just gonna do four more, okay? Long line, hinge, keep the head from falling forward. You can put your hand behind your head if you don't need that chair, but it makes it harder, okay? And back. Woo, I got three more. Take a breath. Okay, single leg, feel your toes, and use that arm to bring you back. Two more, hinge. You're gonna feel a lot of hamstring stretch on this. Woo. <laughs> One more. Wow, these are wicked. What was I thinking? Okay. Okay. Push that free leg out. Use your chair for balance. That's fine. And back. Okay. From here, we're going to go over to that single leg squat. You have the chair handy, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put my weight on my... I'm going to find my balance. I'm going to press up and down. Press up, single leg squat. Find your focus. Keep the chest lifted. Whoa. You can always find your toes on the floor. Try the opposite. Oh, I like the opposite arm. Hand on my thigh. Four. Push the hips back. Three. Two, all glute and quad. And one. Okay. 
Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the weights to a five pound. I've got to repeat this on the other side. So I'm going to go into that, what I call the hip uh, extension with the tricep. So here's my balance now. Okay. Nothing funny here. I'm finding my balance. I'm going to kick my tricep back. This is just finding the stability. The chair is there if I need it. If you need to lift the leg, that's fine. Here's your starter option. But if you can keep that leg lifted and just use the balance. Three more. Elbow reaching to the sky. Push out two and one. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Wiggle that around. We're going to do that other side. Okay, so I'm going to switch my weights around. Here and here. Let's go back to my 10 pounder. And I just did the deadlift. Okay. Make sure you feel that you're in parallel. I'm not, I'm not like this. It's too wildly. I want to be in parallel. So I've got a good foundation. Okay. So again, beginner, you're hinging and you're lifting up. This leg's fairly straight, fairly straight. I don't ever like to lock out, okay? So then you can add on to this. Sorry guys, I'm keeping my chair handy. You know, I'm not proud. Okay, nice and tall, hinge from the hip. You add the lift, and then you find your back foot, that's your kickstand, okay? Hinge forward. Find that lift and come back. Your back muscles, your glute, everything's working. Hinge, you can find your finger there, that's fine. Okay, nice and long. Try, when your head comes down, the leg will come up easier, okay? So don't be afraid of that. And then bring it back up. That's only three. Okay, I'm gonna do eight. I'm gonna try. Breath in and up. That's four. Nice and tall, weights at your side. Start and finish in great alignment. Come on down. Whoop! <laughs> you don't fall far. The secret of balance is catching yourself. That's what I think. It's not having that perfect staying up, staying up, staying up. It's can you catch yourself before you fall over. Okay, two more. Hinge. Ooh, burn, baby, burn. Bring that weight under your shoulder. Then bring it to your hip. One more. Keep the belly in. Keep hinging at the hip. Oh, work glute, quad, and back. Okay. So my weight's over here, or my chair's over here. I'm gonna go that single leg squat. Now remember I started this? I kind of sat down, because I want to know what that sitting feels like. Okay, that's all me. I would love to be there. And I, I found that opposite arm, opposite leg worked best for me. Okay, then I'm gonna come up, and I'm really using this leg. You can see my, my heels lifted, okay? So I'm gonna start finding my balance. Hip goes back and up. I keep the weight on my shoulder so I don't hinge my head forward too much. Up and down. Exhale. Sit back like you're reaching for that chair and up. Five, four, good focus, straight ahead on something that's not moving, three, push into all five toes, inhale, two, and one. Okay. Got one more thing of this series, five pound weight. We go back to that hip extension with a, a tricep extension. So I'm down here. I hinge from my hips. I'm going to find my balance. Where's my chair? There it is. Okay. I'm bringing the elbow to the side. I'm going to kick it out. Reach the heel away from the head. Keep the elbow high. Stop at your hip. Five. 
four, three, abs in tight, two, whoops, and one. <laughs> so I get my hand here to there. It's a small move, okay? Okay, guys. Last part of this series is a wood chop lunge alternating knees. Let's dissect it just a little bit. This could be the warm up for the, the real deal. So I'm gonna do a lunge, right? So I'm gonna find my targets here, okay? When I lunge, I'm gonna step and come back. Step and come back. Now I'm not a big fan, truth be told, I don't like forward lunges, but I love them with the squat, look, squat wedge pro because you're not going to be in your knees. Your heel plants, then you push off the toes. Awesome form. Okay, so you might just want to do these without weight just to get used to alternating lunges. Again, I'm, if you know me by now, I do a lot of reverse lunges. So we're going to add on. We're going to wood chop it. And... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 10 pounds. I'm gonna get a little crazy here. Okay, hands up over the head. So when I take my squat, I come, or my lunge, I come down and I lift up. And I chop down and up. I'm rotating my shoulders, not my hips. And I come down. See how my elbows are bent? I don't have straight arms here. Push off, chop it down, woo, and back up. Plant the heel, then bend. <sighs> Great oblique work. If you're a golfer, you're a tennis player, you're a pickleball player, you're a baseball player, any rotational sports, you're chopping. And you lift. Whoa. Lost my balance on that. I'm trying to look at my screen. Two more each way. Rotate up and up. Okay, guys. This workout so far whew, was 25 minutes. So I'm giving you five minutes to stretch. Heart rate down, grab some water. 30 minute workout. And trust me, it's a good one. So, heart rate's gonna come down. You're not gonna need your wedges, but I'm gonna have you um, move everything aside. Grab your um, heavy resistance band handy. We're gonna start with a figure four stretch. Okay, so bring your knees to your chest, cross one ankle over, push both thighs away. Okay, hands on both thighs here, okay, and rock side to side. Push those thighs away. I'm not trying to pull in, I'm pushing away. I wanna realign my sacrum. Okay, this foot stays bent for now. Okay, bring that foot down, cross over. Hands are like, this is like a wall. I'm pushing knee away, I'm pulling this knee in, and I'm trying to make my hips very level. And I'm just rocking from hip socket to hip socket. Okay. I can feel my, my back just realigning on this. And I'm getting a nice stretch here. So that's our active figure four stretch. Then we're going to go into um, a single. And actually, you know what? We can use. Let's use one of our squat wedges for this. Okay, 90 90. This bothers your knee. Put a, a towel underneath it. But I'm just going to press forward, knee over toes. So this other hip, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. 90, 90, and I'm bringing my hip forward. I'll take my hand behind my head, push down, and just get a nice big hip flexor stretch, and I'm gonna open up the chest. 
or that feels good. Okay, so I'm lengthening. All right, show you from the front. Same thing. Okay. Toe up. I'm going to lean into it, pushing this hip forward, and I'm going to reach up. Hand behind the head. Push the head back. Lift the chest. Pull the chin in, okay? And breathe. Release. You can hang on and hold. You can hold those stretches that I just showed you up to five to ten breaths. You know, longer is, is better in that pace. And the last thing we are going to do, and we really lengthen our hamstrings a lot. I'm going to take this band around my arch. I'm going to hold my elbows to the side and open up the back of the knee. Okay. Don't have a bend here. Really push out. Open it. Okay. Hold down. And you're going to make little circles. If your hip is rocking and rolling, plant your foot. Because I want your hip to be still. We're just going to make little circles. You're stirring the pot with that thigh bone. If you keep your leg straight, flex the leg that of the flex the foot of the leg that's extended. Reverse your circle out and around. Stir the pot. Get a hamstring stretch, inner thigh, outer hip. About five to eight of these. Okay, then switch it out. Okay, again. Anchor. I, I have a, a neutral pelvis. I'm not flat in my back. I have a little mouse house. So neutral pelvis, open up the back of the knee. I don't want to bend. You're trying to stretch, lengthen everything, okay? Pull down, get a nice strong pull for assistance. You can always straighten out the other leg. And you can sweep side to side first. I'm not going big here, okay? Just side to side. And then I'm going to circle around. Eight. I want my hips to be still. I don't want them to move around. Working all those connect connections of the thigh bone into the hip socket. A couple more heart rates coming down nicely. Let's reverse it. Okay. Abs are always engaged. Pushing through the heel. Four more. And last one. You can put both feet into the strap or the band. And just get a nice big stretch here and roll yourself on and up. Sit nice and tall. And that's it. You're done. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this workout, guys. Um, 30 minutes. It's aerobic. It's strength training. It's coordination, balance. It's mobility, stability, all the things that keep you aging well. Uh, that's my motto. I'm sticking to it. Please join me on Sunday morning. We're going to be using the vibration platform for a yoga equinox, spring equinox flow. I hope you'll join me there. If you have any questions at any time, put it in the chat, private message me on Facebook, or hit me up at info at livefit, L-I-V-F-I-T-T dot com. It is always my pleasure, my privilege to help you guys to stay strong. So again, thanks. Thanks to Life Protein for allowing me to be of service to the organization, allowing me to help you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening or wherever you're at. Bye for now.